Hat worn by the assailant. I'm gonna go now! Newspaper with blood spatter. Heavens. God. Goddamn tragedy what happened here. What do you got for me, Guavez? Whoever it was, sir, they are dead. Well, whoever she is. She was a fighter. Would you look at that? Our shift's over. It's not our problem anymore. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Directed by Emilio Moralia, starring Barbara Boucher, Ugo Baglai and Marina Malfatti, the Red Queen kills seven times follows Kitty, the heiress to her family's castle, as she's haunted by an apparition claiming to be her now estranged sister Eveline. Unbeknownst to the rest of her family, Kitty is holding a dark secret concerning the whereabouts of Eveline. Emilia Moralia was an Italian director who began working in film as a director's assistant and technician on many B-movies, but is most widely known for the two Giallo films he directed, The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave and The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. Though Emilio didn't work on many Jolly, his two entries into the genre are most known for their unique vibes, differing greatly from other directors like Fulci and Argento. Moralia creates a more gothic Jolly with a softer look. We don't have the surreal lighting, but we do have vivid, rich colors across the spectrum. Yellows and cold skin tones make the film feel as rich as the characters we follow. I quite enjoy the way he uses the color red in this film, and the fashion helps bring that vibe together as well. It's all very elegant. His unique approach to the genre also applies to his storytelling. People tend to write off the story as being a cookie cutter giallo, and while it does share many elements on the surface, I personally don't think that's the case when you look deeper. Something that really stands out to me is the folklore aspect of the film. In the story, the sister's grandfather warns them about a curse that's plagued their family for generations. Every 100 years, two sisters, one with dark hair, the Red Queen, the other with blonde hair, the Black Queen, will feud, resulting in one of them dying. Now to me, this is pretty unique to the genre, as most of the time, the killers in Jalo movies are understood to be living people from the get-go. Also, while there have been killers who turn out to be women, it's very rare to see a Jalo killer who presents themselves as a woman in their costume. We love a baddie. And speaking of baddies, I the meal, this film is full of them. Barbara Boucher plays Kitty, our lead, and she gives such a charming performance. She's captivating and keeps you engaged in the film, especially with her eyes. She has a very emotive brow and she can tell an entire story with her eyes alone. I just really love that about her as a performer. Marina Malfatti plays Francesca and while she is sporadically in the film, I really like her performance too, especially in the last act. Ugo Balai does a great job as well playing the typical Jalo lead who's cheating on his wife. And you know, he does his job. But let's be real here. 
It is all about the baddies in this film. The one thing I love about Jolly and specifically this film is how female-centric it is. Though I will say it is definitely a questionable decision to give a lot of the women in the film similar hairstyles and fashion. I mean, it was confusing sometimes. When I first watched this, I found myself getting confused as to who was who. And there were also moments where the story gets a little bit convoluted, but I don't think it takes away from the film as a whole. Overall, I consider the Red Queen kills seven times to be one of, if not the best Jalo of that era. It's honestly a shame that Moralia didn't continue making Jolly, as I'd put him on the same level as Dario Argento and Sergio Martino. And yes, I am saying Sergio Martino. And that is because I am Puerto Rican, and that is how we say the name Sergio, we say Sergio. So for all the bored men in my comments, like, trying to correct me, go kick rocks or something, I don't know. Honestly, no me diga nada. Anyway, I highly recommend The Red Queen Kills seven times, especially if you're just getting into the genre. And with that, I am going to be giving The Red Queen Kills seven times Four and a half levs out of five. This is personally my favorite Jalo so far, and I think it is so much fun and you just can't go wrong. If you don't like the story too much, well, at least it's a really beautiful film to watch. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps me a lot. And be sure to click that little notification bell to be up to date every single time I upload. And let me know in the comments, what's your favorite Jalo so far? And if you've been on this Jalo journey with me, then which films are you gonna be watching next? I'd love to talk about it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.